struggle, failure, disappointment. These words do not define me. I hate math. I hate math because it's hard. I, I mean, man, math is hard. When I'm in math class, I have struggled. I failed and I've been disappointed. Let me tell you where this started. My parents hired a tutor for me to learn math. I learned my addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Then I got lost and I just couldn't find my way. I couldn't seem to understand even after revealing with my tutor. I lost my confidence in my math skills. I felt embarrassed. I felt like my stomach had turned inside out. I wanted to dig a hole and stay in it for the rest of the class. I felt defeated and I felt like my in intelligence had disappeared. All this made me lose, lose belief in myself. I believe struggle is a real life, worldwide thing that many people deal with and go through. After all, I didn't just begin struggling in my life after I entered school. I struggled to come into, it, into this world. I was born premature and lived in the hospital's NICU for 90 days. Even though I have, even though I haven't beaten math yet, I know that in the future, I will beat it. Many other people have beaten struggles in their life. People like Rosa Parks and Nelson, and Nelson Mandela. Life is filled with struggles, failure, and disappointments. We can choose to not let these words define us. Struggle, failure, disappointment. These words do not define me. Instead, I choose perseverance and define myself as a hard worker who does not quit. Words have power, and so do I.